this boy. We would pass each other every day after school in the exact same spot. And sometimes it would be so intense that we would start looking at each other from the very beginning of the steps. And on the last day of school, he talked to me. Hey! And everything was happening exactly the way it was supposed to. And I was the happiest I've ever been. He was everything I imagined he would be. And I was in love with him. That this amazing young man, who was so well loved, was surrounded by everything that was beautiful to him. I just can't believe she has nowhere else to go. Are you really pregnant? Yeah. That figures. One bad thing my brother does, he's not even here to get in trouble for it. <laughs> Did you dye our son's hair blue? Yes. You know, when I went to the morgue, I thought they got the wrong boy because our son would never dye his hair blue. And then I saw his face and it was our son. It was like he died twice. That's enough. You haven't made the slightest effort to get to know this girl. I don't want to get to know her. Why can't you understand that? It should have been her that died that night. It should have been her. Look, it's not all about you and your grief, Grace. There are people in our lives who deserve our attention. Did you not get a chance to see the body? No. My mom came in to get me, and I couldn't even move. So I didn't get to say goodbye. Angel wings spread over. I think it might just be easier if you talked about him with Grace. You've been a good husband and a good father. Do you want to feel? No. It always kicks when he hears your voice. I'm fine. Thanks. Please. It's strong. This night. <laughs> I would say that this was the greatest.